You couldn't have spawned the bow on top of me instead of making me run towards Ganon first. 100 damage. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light strong enough to oppose the calamity. It's time, boys. Let's do this. So, uh, oh, so this is all going to be about aiming then, which means we're screwed. Yeah, may we be victorious. Like, I can't stop this thing if I got to aim a bow and arrow. I play RPGs mostly, not FPSs. Oh, well, they're pretty big spots. Oh, yeah, there you go. It, it gives you some, uh, it gives you some work around. Tell me the bow of light is not long ranged. What a lame bow. He took a lot of damage there. Yeah, I can tell. Does he, like, ever attack me? He shot a few laser beams at the start and hasn't done anything since. Ganon, you okay, dude? Oh, he's turning towards me. Hi there, pig face. How you doing? Having a good day? Probably not. Got woken up from your sleep and all just for me to attack you repeatedly. Oh, it's raining now. What good ambience. Thank you, Zelda. That was a bad shot. That one should get it. Yeah. I got this. No problem. I'm barely even paying attention to the steering of this horse. Probably going to have to hit his face next. What you doing, Ganon? A horse... We don't have time for this. Ganon, hello? Are you okay? I mean, clearly not. You're a giant purple flaming pig of death and evil. But still. Think Ganon is ever considered like shooting his laser beam at me? Oh, it's on his tummy. This isn't gonna be easy. Go, go horse, we've got this. Dark Beast Ganon actually seems really docile. He doesn't attack very much, so he should be fine. Hello! That's gotta suck. Alright, now it's gotta be the head. Oh, his stomach is getting big. That's not good. Also, the Blood Moon is rising. At, like, the most inopportune time. Define up there. Oh, you mean, like, on his spinal cord? Hey, Ganon, I'm gonna hit your core. Did I get it? I didn't get it. I will now, though. That was a bad shot. Bad shot. No, Ganon, you don't understand. Open your core again. I, I need that core to open. Uh, don't do whatever you're doing. Come on. Open up. Open wide. Open wide, Ganon. Time for your light medicine. I'm just shooting, hoping that it opens up at the right time. Define use his attacks to your advantage. You wanna like give me some, a little bit more on that or what? A horse, a horse, don't stand right here. Actually, horse, this is fine. It closes so fast. What, do you want me to get off the horse and like block this laser beam back at him? That seems highly unlikely. There, it closes every time I shoot at it. Is there something fancy I need to be doing here? Come on. Open up. Open wide. Oh! Hello. You've done me well, horse. You've done me well. But now it's time for the end of the calamity. See you later, Ganon. It's been real.
been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Lee. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me? No. <laughs> Not at all. Doesn't ring a bell. Are we in credits now? Ah, The Legend of Zelda. In very, very tiny font. Are these credits, though? Breath of the Wild, also in very, very tiny font. How long have I been recording? I'm not even in half an hour yet. I think I'm going to make this one video. What is this, part 203? I'm just going to keep this as one video instead of split it into, like, two 15-minute parts. That'd be pretty weird, I think. Well, actually, we'll see how long the credits are. I don't think it'll be long enough for me to want to do that, though. For me to want to break it up at all. Because I don't know where I'd break it up. It'd be really... I'd have to break it up in between the first Ganon fight and the second one, I think. And I finished the second Ganon fight at, like... I looked at the recording when I finished the fight to see how long it had taken me, and I was like 18 minutes in. So, I guess that would work. I might do that, and then just have the final Ganon battle and the credits here in one. I don't know which one I'm going to do, but you'll see. Whenever I uh, edit it out, I'll make that decision. But uh, yeah, we've beaten the game. Hey, there you go. Breath of the Wild is complete. We did all the side quests. We did all of the 120 shrines, and we got all four of the Divine Beasts and defeated Calamity Ganon. So, yeah, there's that. I guess I can go over the game now and give my rating. Uh, this is a really good game. I am. Um, whenever I talk about Breath of the Wild, I'm not really sure how to say how much I like it. Because I know it's been, like, really seen as, like, one of the greatest games of all time by a lot of people. And so many people love this game. And I don't disagree with them at all. I really love this game, too. It was a lot of fun to do. It was a very long playthrough. But it was a very enjoyable one. I think this is the second longest on my channel after Digimon World Next Order. And, uh, yeah, but I don't know. It's definitely not, like, my favorite game of all time. And I don't want people to think it is. Because I feel like every time I say I like the game, people are going to be like, well, of course you do. It's the best game of all time. It's the best game you've ever played. But not, though. Because, like, I enjoyed Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess more than Breath of the Wild. But I also really enjoyed Breath of the Wild. It's a really good game. Uh, it's definitely deserving of, like, a at least a 4 out of 5. Maybe even a 4.5 out of 5. I don't know. Uh, but I wouldn't call it my favorite game of all time, or even my favorite game of 2017, honestly, because uh, 2017 had Tales of Berseria and Horizon Zero Dawn, both of which I enjoyed more so than this game. Uh, and Digimon World Next Order. I don't know about Digimon World Next Order, though. Sometimes I love Digimon World Next Order, sometimes I hated it. But uh, it is Digimon. But anyways, this definitely is a really good game. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people just want more game Zelda games like this, but I really enjoy the, like, more linear sort of like not as open world Zelda like somewhat open world but also having more focus on like moving from place to place and going from dungeon to dungeon because I really enjoy that and uh, I saw someone leave a review saying that uh, they had wrote a little article on it because of course tons of people wrote articles on Breath of the Wild when it came out because of how big it was saying that like uh, the open world is good and all but uh the fact that you have everything at once makes the game really samey or even kind of dull when you get later in it. It starts to get a little repetitive even in what you're doing. And I can kind of agree with that because uh, I understand, you know, free world, you want to allow everyone to go everywhere so they can have different, uh, different experiences and everything. And then, But when you do that, you kind of risk the difficulty mounting or stuff like, you know, earning certain things in different locations. I mean, I know you got the abilities like Urbosa's Fury and Rivali's Gale depending on where you went first but those aren't really things you have to learn and get better with they're just kind of there and work as soon as you have them Mifa's Grace especially since we have Mifa on the screen right there 
But, uh, I don't know. The game was very, very difficult right out the gate. And then it just got easier and easier. Until it became a point of being just easy. <laughs> Which, uh, I know they have hard mode now. But from what I've heard of hard mode, it doesn't really change difficulty so much. As it just makes it more annoying. Because it basically... As far as I'm aware, it basically means you have, you have like, less weapons, stuff breaks easier, enemies have more HP, etc, etc. Which doesn't really sound like the kind of difficulty bump I would want. Because that's just, like, that just makes things more tedious and having to gather more weapons and whatnot and having to, like, avoid fights so you don't break your weapons, which is lame. I'd rather fight the stuff I come across if I want to. But, uh, overall it is still a really good game. I really enjoyed it. I do like how free it is and you get to go to any location you want and there's so much to explore. Which is uh, definitely... The exploration of Breath of the Wild is where it shines the most, undoubtedly, in getting to go all over the world because it's a very beautifully made world and uh, there's a lot to do in it with uh, the 76 side quests, all 120 shrines. So you can get a lot done. If you want to go for all of the Koroks, you can go for that. There's a lot to do in the game and uh, I do like that. That's definitely where it, uh, that's where Breath of the Wild hit the best, and I'm sure that's what a lot of people would agree was their favorite part, is getting to explore so much of the Breath of the Wild world of Hyrule. Uh, I don't like the dungeons. <laughs> the four Divine Beast dungeons are like, and this again just falls back to the problem of how free world it is, and the fact that it's got no linearity at all, really, because you can just literally go in any order you want. You can even go straight to Ganon if you want. There's like no... Other than going into Hyrule Castle itself, there's no difficulty bump anywhere. Like, you have a little bit of difficulty at the start, and then, you know, you get used to the controls and you get a handful of weapons after you're, like, five hours in, and then everything is just easy. Because it's just more of the same, basically. Like, there are a handful of enemy types, and after you learn how to fight each of those, like... I don't know, how many enemy types would there be in this game? Like, 15 to 20 different kinds of enemies, and then they're just, like, different versions of one another. Like, you've got Lizophos, Bokoblins, and then you've got, like, the different elemented ones, and the Choo Choo's, and they've got different elements, and then the Bats, different elements is how they get more out of them. Uh, the Lynels, then you just get Lynels with slightly different weapons that give them, like, a different attack or two. So, it's just, like, you just have to learn the... You just have to go up against a handful of enemies and you figure out how to take them on. And then the rest of the game is pretty much just easy. I keep, I don't really know how else to say it. It's just that uh, there's no building difficulty as you go. Whereas in like past Zelda games, you know, they were far more linear in Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. And the bosses and the enemies became more difficult as you went. And you had to get new abilities to handle that and whatnot. Whereas in this game, you just get all of your abilities right out the gate. Because they have to let you go everywhere. That's the purpose of the game. And... Yeah, you don't really, like... I mean, you can level up stasis, and also, like, stasis can freeze enemies for three seconds, which is pretty useful, but not ridiculously game-changing. And then magnesis and ice are always the same. And then bombs, like, what was the bomb power-up? They do more damage and have a bit bigger radius? I don't know. There was stuff like hookshot, and, uh... Trying to think of other examples from past Zelda games. Gust bellows. Uh the iron boots, etc, etc. Added uh, a lot of the spinning top from Twilight Princess. I loved that item, and I loved that boss fight where you had to use it to fight that giant skeleton. They, uh... They don't really have anything like that. You just get magnesis, cryonesis, uh, bombs, and stasis right out the gate, and then they don't really get built on at all, other than that one time you upgrade them, and even then it doesn't change a whole lot. I think we're at the end of the credits. But uh, last thing I want to say that I didn't like about Breath of the Wild is the bosses are way too easy. And even Calamity Ganon at the end there was a breeze. Like, I barely had any issue at all. The bosses were far too easy. Uh, I kind of wish that there had been, like, an actual Gerudo Ganondorf to fight. We have a cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet for a second.
The end. How nice. I wish there had been, like, an actual Gerudo Ganon that I could have had, like, a sword fight or something with at the end, like in Twilight Princess. Because that was, like, one of the best fights of all time. And even Demise, like, in Skyward Sword was a really sick final fight. This one was kind of, I don't know, anticlimactic. We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Maruta looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> That was a really weird smile. <laughs> That's a nice little ending, though. I like that. I think that's a silent princess right there. That flower. We made it to, like, 40 minutes. I might break this into two parts. I don't know. We'll see. Where's the game going to put me? But anyways, yeah, the bosses are like... Oh, hello. The bosses are like way, way too easy. Which, you know, you can't really... Again, it goes back to it being as free world as it is in letting you go everywhere. They can't really make one boss stronger over the other because you could end up running into any of them in the first place. But, uh, I mean... That's the way the game was designed, and I understand that and all, and I know people are probably saying, like, well, yeah, it's supposed to be that way, so you can go and do whichever one you want. That doesn't mean I like it, though. Or that I can't complain about it. Because, uh, Zelda just, like, this Zelda game just, like, loses all of its challenge after you get about ten hours in. It's still fun to explore, and, uh, the Portal 2 puzzles that you get in some of the dungeons are really great as well. But, yeah. It's just, uh, I just prefer the other style of Zelda game more so. Not that I didn't enjoy this. If they made another game like Breath of the Wild, which I'm absolutely sure they will, and I absolutely will play it, uh, I'd totally do that. I'd be down to play another Breath of the Wild style game, but would I be more excited for a Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword style of Zelda again? Probably. I would probably enjoy those more so than this, even though this is a really great game and I really do enjoy it. Uh, I have so much trouble hitting the balance of letting people understand I do really enjoy this game and I think it's good, but I also don't think it's flawless and that it does have some problems that I personally don't like and wish were different. But, uh, I usually don't have that problem with games, but this one especially. I don't know. Let's load up the game really quick and see where it put me. It has this little star on it, clearly. But yeah, uh, I am gonna do... I'm gonna do the Master Trials for sure. I've heard it's pretty good. And more DLC should come out in December, I think? That has to hopefully has to do with the uh, Guardians. That's another thing they didn't do much in this game. They barely tap into the Guardians or their replacements. There's, like, no story behind them at all, really. It barely says anything. Get me out of here. You barely learn anything about them. You get, like, three cutscenes with them maximum, and that's it. Like, you get the cutscene of... When you first enter the Divine Beast, or when you first get a memory about them, I don't rem I think it's before the Divine Beast, actually. Yeah, because Daruk's was when you first talked to the Goron Elder, and I think Urbosa's was when you first talked to Riju. 
or just after you like got the Thunder Helm for Riju. I can't remember which. So you get like that cutscene with them. You get the cutscene after you defeat the Divine Beast where they set up the beast and then have their little, what's the word, soliloquy with themselves and then fire their laser. And that's pretty much all you get of them. And I was really intrigued with the characters, the little we saw of them and their designs and all. And I would have loved to have seen more of them. But, you know, this game, again, it's like, it's entirely based on free roam is the thing, which is different from what Zelda is normal to. And, you know, I like free roam games from time to time, but I prefer more story driven, character driven games, as you could probably tell by my track record of me playing Kingdom Hearts and the Tales series and all the other games I play. Those are more my style and just what I enjoy more. So free roam is cool, but and I think that you can definitely strike a good balance between free roam and story because, uh, they did that pretty well in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Xenoblade, uh, I can't talk. Xenoblade Chronicles X had uh, a lot more linearity to it while also having a good bit of free roam included in it. And I think that it hit a very nice balance of the two. This game had a bit of the balance, but I think it tilted way too far to the free roam side and not enough to the linear story character side of things. And that's my biggest complaint with it, is that uh, it doesn't have enough focus on the characters and etc etc stuff like that which i would have enjoyed more of but you know it is what it is it's still a really good game hopefully when they make the next zelda game uh they take in both the criticism the and the uh already. praise that this game got and can hopefully keep some free roam going with it but uh get a little more story driven overall is what i would like and just like better bosses and the dungeons weren't horrible but they were so, they were literally just the same dungeon, but slightly different. They just changed like, okay, well this one you move the trunk, this one you move the body left and right. It was the same formula. You go find the five pillars, activate them, go fight the boss, which is painfully easy. If I'm not mistaken, I beat every single Ganon Blight without dying, except the lightning one, because I didn't realize you could pick up the metal spike at first. But as soon as I realized you could pick up the metal spike, I killed him easily the second time. So I have only like... Is not a good sign that I can go through this game, and I didn't lose to the final boss at all either, which isn't super uncommon, because usually when you get to the final boss of a game, you're normally good enough to be fine. But I defeated all four Ganon Blights, only died once to one of them, because I didn't understand one of the mechanics at the start of the fight, or the middle of the fight. And then I beat the final boss, like, easy peasy, no problem. That's, uh, I don't like that. It needs to be... It, the game needs more rising difficulty in some way, rather than just being so spread out. In my opinion, you know? I know other people will disagree, but that's how I feel about it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop here. I'm a little over 40 minutes. I think I am gonna break these into two videos instead of just put them down as one. Apparently a Blood Moon is happening, but, you know, who cares? And, uh, yeah. Blood Moon, get out of here. Ain't got time for you. Yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to level up the Outfit of the Wild off screen on my own time to max, and we're going to use that for the uh, for the Master Trials, because I think it would be really cool to go old school Link for that. We got to use the awesome hood, rubber pants, and hero's tunic for the final Ganon fight. And uh, yeah, I will see you all for that next time. I hope you uh, watch and enjoy. If you're just gonna, I know some people don't like to watch DLC or post-game stuff. They just like to end with the main series of a playthrough. And this has been a really long playthrough, so I don't blame you. <laughs> but uh, rather, I see you again for the Master Trials or whatever other game you watch on the channel that I may be doing now or in the future. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy future playthroughs, and I hope to see you and whatnot. And until then, farewell. <laughs>